Hiya folks, how are we getting on? Hope you're all well. And welcome to another whiskey review. Irish whiskey review is the name of the thing. As you can tell, I haven't been reviewing that many Irish whiskies for the last while. Uh, mainly because I'm here in the States and, uh, well, I don't have access to some of this stuff. So I'm reviewing that while I'm here and, and seeing how we go on. Now I'm here in Texas, or just in the, 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 the very fringe of Texas. And uh, for anyone who's not sure, Texas is just enormous. It's huge. Uh, it, it, I mean, it was a country of its own uh, right for a period of time. President was a man called Sam Houston, whose family came from very near where I live, back in Northern Ireland. So yeah, uh, but we'll not go into that too much. But you know, Texans are very proud of being from Texas. It's uh, it's really quite a, like a badge of honour. You know, nobody does it like a Texan. Key rings, big Texan. So yeah, it's it's funny. And they're quite proud of this. They wear, the, you know, they wear this as a badge of honour. We're from Texas. We're US, but we're Texas. We're very definitely from there. You see signs for it all over the place. Now, two things from Texas. Balcones Distillery and ZZ Top. Now, <laughs> ZZ Top, everybody knows two or three songs from ZZ Top, and that's pretty much the, the vast majority of people know. But they're classics. You know, Sharp Dressed Man. Um, I don't, I don't I'm going to pour this. She's got... I can't sing anything because YouTube will do me for copyright and Zuckerberg will probably knock me off Facebook and whatnot. But if you want to know more about ZZ Top, watch the Netflix documentary about them. Uh, it's dead, dead funny in places. Because when they're they're interviewing members of the band, they're saying, "Oh, we were we were out there at a time because we had we had long hair in Texas in the seventies, and that was and I quote, dangerous, not unfashionable. It was dangerous. Now I've asked a couple of people, about, what, what do you mean it was dangerous? They said, well, they could have the people in Texas have went damn happy and shot them. This <laughs> is just bizarre." But no, they they had they had uh, long, long hair in Texas in the seventies, which which was considered dangerous. They had funny, um, but tres hombres, and that refers to the album that they they brought out the first album in nineteen seventy three. So yeah, give me all your loving, and that sharp dressed man, and and she's got legs and so on. Remember the wee car, the wee red car? So cool, so cool, iconic on the thing. Them doing that at the side of the road. Uh, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, Balcones started back in 2009. And they, they, they've they done a lot. They've, they're quite big. You see them over here all, all over the place. And so they've obviously been doing something right. Now, these days... The likes of this celebrity brand stuff. There's loads of it. Every celebrity now is bringing out a drink, and every drink wants a celebrity to front it. Some of them work all right, some of them not so much, but they are. It's the way of the world. I mean, you don't get films made. If you want a film made, you get a big star to sign up to it. If you want a, a brand to be elevated, you get someone to, to jump on board and put their name to it. Some work, some don't. Uh, not that long ago, we were treated, treated to David Beckham telling us how he loved haggis on a Burns night. The idea of David and Victoria Beckham sitting down to a big feed of haggis, and neeps and tatties, uh, swelling whiskey. Let's be honest, who are they trying to get? It's just, you know, it's easy to talk. You can imagine them drinking whiskey. You can't, you can't really imagine David Beckham sitting with a haggis. You know, unreal. But uh, some of them, some of them work. Some of them, you know, there's a synergy there. Uh, this there seems to be a synergy because it's Texan, proudly Texan, says on the back of it, certified Texan whiskey, Texas whiskey, and yeah, and it's got all of that sort of synergy with it. Rock band drinking, you know. Now on with the glasses. Um, little old whiskey from Texas again. Just punching this through. Tres Hombres Texas whiskey is made from three Texan grown grains, corn, barley and rye. In the same spirit of honest exploration and synergy, 
that has cemented ZZ Top's place in music history. So on the back it says one, two, three, four, five, five times it mentions Texas on the back of this. You kind of get the idea of what, of what I mean. On the front of it, you have Texas one twice on the thing. So basically, you've got got it mentioned on that about seven times that it's Texan. So you can tell that they're quite proud of this. So does this work? Oh, they've got it on the top. Sorry, it's got it on the top. I just noticed that. Check at the bottom and see if there's anything there. Nope. So about eight times it tells you on this little bottle that, that it's Texas. Now, some of these celebrity collaborations work, some of them don't, some of them's gimmicky, as I've said, etc, etc. This there's more craft in this, if I'm totally honest. Um, roasted blue corn, barley and rye, 50% ABV. And it says on the back of it, and I know that this sounds almost laughable, when people are talking about the likes of Scotch and, and certain Irish whiskies as well, that it states on it, aged for at least 48 months. In this part of the world, they're going to measure the age of their whiskey in months rather than years. The difference in temperature in various parts of Texas is extreme. In the summer, it's going to be very, very, very hot, but at night, it cools down rapidly. In the winter, it, really, really cold. So that interaction with the wood, in terms of the humidity is quite low, in, certainly in relation to the likes of, of Scotland and Ireland. So you have that much different climate. It doesn't need 15 years. It doesn't need years and years and years in the cask because it's getting so much interaction. So it seems laughable. I mean, some of the stuff that balconies make is is aged for six months that's not even a whiskey under the technical files in ireland and scotland over here it's a bit like the wild west there's not that many rules one rule is that you, ha you have to have an age statement on it if it's less than four years most of these are going to have that so the color of that's really quite i mean look you know Four years in a cask. It's 50%. What you get on the nose is really quite deep uh, uh, tannic notes, quite deep leather. Um, there is, on the, at the very end of the, of, of, when you inhale, at the very end of it, you're getting really deep red apple, um, baked apple. I mean, this sounds like a weird combination, but this really, really works quite well. At the front, you've got, you've got like polished shoe leather at the front, moving on to a deep leather, all the way to the back. Deep red, cooked red, flavoursome apple. Some, some, uh, some sort of toffee notes coming through there too. So you've got, there's a lot, a lot going on in this nose. Yeah, I, that's good on the nose. It really is. It's got the balance to it. It's not too sharp. It's got complex notes working there. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, balanced up really well and it's got a sweetness that that really really works quite well as i say that, that the sweet notes that are on it are nice sort of burnt sugary notes you know the, the toffee syrupy leather all the way through baked fruit baked baked sort of estery fruit Really nice mouthfeel. I mean, really properly nice. Comes in a little bit of sharpness in, in terms of heat. 
It's 50%, so don't be surprised at that. On the palate, it's got a very sort of wine note to it. And I mean that sort of a, a fruity red wine that really is pleasant, really pleasant. And as it develops, it's got more, more spicy notes. Again, that sort of leather tannin notes coming through. And it's really, really quite pleasant. Really pleasant. It's got it's got some notes that you would get from from uh, your red wines from, from southern France, actually. And that honestly, totally surprising. On the nose, leathery and, and, and apple with with Various other little notes popping up and in and out. Moving through on the palate. Sweet, but not not saccharine sweet. Um, it's got that leathery tannin, sort of mildly toffeed sugar. Um, like, like, a, like a syrup you would make on the stove rather than commercial syrup, if you know what I mean. I really, really like that. I really like it. Um, on the finish, again, it's actually quite complex. It's got a level of complexity. I'm going to put a tiny little bit of water in there. It's got a level of complexity that will surprise people. That's the truth. Um, you don't expect you expect this to be sort of gimmicky in your face. Uh, heading out for a for a night out, go to a concert, drink a lot, etc., etc. Wake up the next day with a hangover. This isn't like that. This is one that you could actually sit down of an evening, enjoy, stick on the album. To be honest, it probably doesn't go that well with the music. If I'm totally honest, um, it's a bit more slower paced. This is something I don't do this. But I could totally see someone sitting down and having a cigar and having this and thinking to themselves, that's a real bargain. That's a real bargain. I just have to check what price that was. I think that was about $50 or something. I mean, it's not expensive. And if I'm honest, if, if this is the, the standard of, of whiskey that is, is happy to bear a, a Texas name, Good on you, because I would be I would be proud of making that. Um, yeah, the nose doesn't really change with that little bit of water. I wouldn't say the nose has developed any on the palate. On the palate, I would leave the water out. Don't add any water to that. Keep that at 50. I think that's just exactly where that needs to be. Don't Ice cubes would probably ruin that totally, if I'm honest. Uh, on the finish, with the water, there's a little bit of... Uh, just a little bit of, of, of spice coming through. Herbal note. Which one? Sort of... I want to say a little bit of 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 cilantro, coriander, a little bit of that, a little bit of sage. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of uh, yeah. That's really really pleasant, really pleasant to drink. Well worth buying. Um, if I had to give that a, a, a score, easy, easy 8 out of 10. Easy 8 out of 10. Um, even the artwork, I like the artwork. So yeah, watch the YouTube, watch the Netflix documentary on them. Dead, dead funny. Really cool. 
you know, the, back in the 70s when they had the long hair and the big hats and stuff. Really, really cool. Uh, and just get colour and colour during the 80s. Uh, it's Pei. Pei, uh, Dusty Hill, the vocalist, passed away last year. It says on the back here, on the code, hope you can see that, ZZ21 Batch 1. Uh, so this was brought out the year he passed away, and a nice tribute it is to him. If you can get your hands on a bottle, thoroughly recommend it. Balcones, ZZ Top, Tres Hombres. So, yeah, excellent stuff it is. If you can get it, get yourself a bottle. So, that's all for me tonight. Um, take care of yourselves, guys, and uh, stay safe. And I will hopefully catch you again sometime soon. Um, join me and Justin every Saturday night, 10pm Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, if you don't get us live, we are on Facebook, we are on YouTube, and we talk about whiskey, but we talk about loads of other stuff too. Uh, do come on, comment, like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that button, and any time we post something, you'll get a little ding to tell you it's there. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, but, thank you very much, and I'll catch up with you again soon. Take care.